What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is The Joyful Sojourn and today we are opening up my order from Archer and Olive. This is from their February 2024 release. I can't remember what it was called but it was like I don't know something collections and it was really pretty and there were a lot of things I wanted to purchase from this collection. At this point, I'm collecting <laughs> Archer and Olive notebooks uh, faster than I can use them, but they're just really pretty. And I like pretty things, and there's not a lot of things that I collect um, in life. I'm not like a collector, a, ho a hobbyist collector, but notebooks are just kind of the thing for me. So I did purchase some items. I was going to purchase more, but they sold out. So many items sold out. And uh, so I got basically what I could get. I will have to take a look and see what I ended up with because I honestly don't remember and maybe it will help recall um, what I wanted. I know I didn't get the notebook in the size I wanted. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, I think there were stamps I wanted to get. The stamps were sold out. So let's just see. Let's just take a deep dive. Oh, Cabinet of Curiosities. Okay, there was a C in there. I was thinking collections, but Cabinet and Curiosities. Cabinet of Curiosities was the collection, and my goodness, it was so freaking pretty. I mean, look, I just, you guys. Oh. Oh. Okay, to be honest, I got these because free shipping. <laughs> I think it was like, you know, if you cross over the $100 mark, you get free shipping. And Archer and Olive shipping, I think, is kind of pricey, probably because of the weight of the things that they're shipping like books uh so shipping is usually like ten dollars and i think i was maybe ten dollars away from a hundred or something like that so i tried uh i just picked up some black and white acrylograph acrylic pens to basically these ended up being free you could look at it that way these were free or i paid for shipping so it's kind of i do math like that okay um i forgot i got the temporary tattoos Okay, uh, let's start with, well, let's, let's just start with these. So many things. There were several different collections in the Cabinet of Curiosities uh, release, and I can't remember. There were two notebooks I really wanted. They sold out really fast. Oh, one of them, a beautiful, I think it was like a 9x9 nine nine embroidered cover uh, journal and I thought it was so pretty but that sold out really fast uh, and I think it was in graph grid I might I might be remembering uh, incorrectly but I really wanted the graph grid because I'm in my graph my graph grid era over my dot grid I, I prefer graph grid to dot grid right now so um, really wanted that didn't get it but anyways here are the acrylographs and acrylic paint pens a little finicky I mean I'm not the biggest fan of the style of pen, just because I feel like it takes a lot of work. You got to do a lot of shaking. You got to press the nib. But they are excellent paint pens. And so I got black and white. So I just wanted to show what those look like. This is part of their, I think it's the it's called the Everyday Basics Collection. Because they do sell, you know, collections of acrylograph pens. But sometimes you just want some black and white ones that don't come in the collections. And so I thought this would be a good thing to have. And looking at my pen rack, I don't think I have, yeah, I don't have, oh, actually I do have a white. No, maybe that's not white, hold on, fact check. I don't know, it doesn't have a, actually, no, it definitely isn't white. It's got a slightly different color to it. But yeah, I don't think I have black and white anyway. So this was kind of a nice, nice option. These aren't labeled. I wish they would label them. Come on, Archer and Olive, label all of them. I feel like they're getting better at labeling, um, but these are not. So good thing they look like black and white. It makes it nice and simple. So I got the white and black acrylograph pens, again, for free shipping. Temporary tattoos. You guys, I have a real tattoo. I've talked about it um, before in the past. It's very meaningful to me. It is not a microphone. It is a Thrifty's ice cream cone. If you're from California, then you already know that, as you can tell by the square punched ice cream. But I just thought this was really cute, and I really want to get 
one of my 24 and 2024 uh, things I want to do is actually get another tattoo. And so I thought these were just fun, um, fun tattoos. Maybe I'll put one on Esther. She and I can have like matching tattoos for Memorial Day. I don't know. I just thought they would be fun. And uh, I think in the image there was this floral one on someone's forearm. And I thought it looked cool. And I've been thinking... I like tattoos that I can see because they mean something to me and I want to enjoy them myself. And so I thought this would be a fun way to play around with tattoos. I know, kind of weird for a notebook stationery shop to do this, but I think these are cool, okay? I think they're cool. So I got the temporary tattoos. Maybe I'll make a reel about these over on Instagram. I'm sure some people with tattoos are rolling their eyes, but again, I have a real one. I just thought it would be fun for me and Esther to play around with some images on our skin. Of course, I can't get this to close, so we'll just set that aside. Let's take a look at the Calligraph pens. These are my favorite. I prefer these over the Acrylographs just because they're basically brush pens. Uh, and I have been grabbing my Acrylic, or excuse me, my Calligraph pens more than my Tombows. I don't know why, maybe because they're more expensive and they feel fancy and I don't want them to dry out. But I also just think they they perform really well. I love the packaging and these are really cute. So this is the uh, Cabinet of Curiosities Calliograph pens. And I'm hoping, you guys, will these be labeled? Let's find out. I do like that we can see the colors on the back, but I'm not going to keep them in this packaging. So I need, oh, pretty, <gasps> pretty. April showers, under the stars, honeycomb, stone path, misty morning, new bloom, sun kissed, fresh moss, new leaves, and raindrop. Please be labeled. No, wait, now, are they giving us stickers? At least, <gasps> they're giving us stickers. Okay, thank you. So if you want to label them, you can. That is a firm yes for me. So we're going to have a little fun here. And let's grab this first one. It's gonna be the like who's who of colors because now that I've poured these out, I don't know exactly. Let's get the green ones out of the way. Just so I can identify them more easily. So we've got fresh moss and new leaves. Fresh moss is gonna be darker. So we're gonna say that this one is fresh moss. Oh, that's so pretty. So dual tipped, you've got a broad tip and a fine tip. Um, and just to show you what that looks like if you're gonna do some brush lettering here. Moss. But this is actually fresh moss. So here's your finer tip. And I'm going to just do it up here. Fresh. Not an expert hand letter, but there is fresh moss. And while we're here, guys, hope you don't mind, just because I know what's going to happen is I'm going to end up forgetting to do this. So do I want to go this way or do I roll it maybe I just go like that fresh moss Ooh. okay so now we know that is fresh moss okay then our next one is new leaves maybe we'll just do that Ooh, that's bright and here new Kind of harder for me as a newbie to writing, doing it with that thicker tip. But then you have the thinner tip, new leaves. I get lazy and I don't want to lift the pen up. I'll um, pull this up closer when I'm done. So that is new leaves. Hope you guys don't mind that I am stickering as we go have new leaves. Where did I put it? On this one, I did it on the broad side. So down the broad, and I kind of just, it's definitely crooked. 
new leaves. Crooked, but that's okay. Okay, so new leaves. Let's see if I can identify these other ones. It's got the, the blues might be a little hard for me. How about, this looks like sun-kissed to me. Although, what would this one be? This looks like honeycomb. That is probably new bloom. So what is this more orangey one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Oh, there's definitely ten. This one's going to throw me for a loop. Maybe that's sun kissed? Oh, you know, I bet this is stone path. I'm going to set these guys aside. I thought they would be easier. But, okay, we know that this is going to be under the stars. Because it's the darkest one. Ooh. Under. Yeah, it's kind of hard for me. And I'm trying to keep it confined. The. Stars. Trying to do this fast, but then kind of breaking breaking the routine of the, you know, press down when you're going down and then lighter when you go back on the upstroke. Okay, so this was Under the Stars. So we'll grab the Under the Stars. And I'm gonna throw this down here. These are definitely going on crooked, but Under the Stars. All right. Um, this looks like Misty Morning. See what misty morning looks like. Ooh, that's nice. That is nice. That'll be good for creating lines in my journal. So misty. Yeah, I probably wouldn't write with that. Misty morning. Oh yeah. You can barely see that. But I would use that for creating lines in my journal. Misty morning. Grab that sticker. So pretty. I would use that like a neutral, like a gray. Misty morning. All right. I'm guessing this is raindrop. Yeah, that looks like a nice raindrop. Rain and drop. Raindrop. Sorry, guys. I know this is taking a little bit longer. I was just going to show you everything in my uh, collection, but I just, or everything in my order, but I know what's going to end up happening is I'll have to like run in to, you know, do something with the baby. And this will be a mess. So I have to do this now. So no editing in real time. This is what you guys get. So Misty, Raindrop. And then I'm guessing this is April Showers. Very gray. Which I love. A, I love a gray. April. Showers. And again, I will... We'll pull this up so you guys can see it. April showers. Man, these final four are gonna give me a run for my money. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to identify these. Maybe by process of elimination, I'll figure it out. So April showers. Okay. All right, so we have honeycomb, stone path, new bloom, and sun gist. So new bloom, absolutely has to be this one and sun kissed has to be this one no honeycomb new bloom and honeycomb so let's take a look at a new bloom Ooh, that is pretty it is a very dirty dirty orangey pink so this is new bloom
pretty. I like that. Kind of a rust color almost. New bloom on this one. And then the next one will be our honeycomb. Oh yeah. Honey. Comb. I hope this is relaxing for you guys. I love, I love a good pen swatch. But I know some of you might prefer like a sped up video where you skip to the good part, you know, you skip to the swatches. But hopefully just sitting with me. I don't know, maybe you're decorating your planner right now. Or maybe you're organizing your pen collection. Hopefully this is keeping you company. Okay, so the remaining colors are Stone Path and Sunkist. And let me show this to you. I'm going to guess that Stone Path is the dirtier one. Um, so we're going to go with it. Stone Path. I mean, that looks sun-kissed to me, but given the color of the other one, this must be Stone Path. So we're going to go with it. Stone. I mean, that could be a stone color. Stone Path. I'm really speeding things up here. Ugh, stone path, and then the last one is sunkissed. Are you guys with me though? Like if you unbox your stuff and you don't do something with it immediately, it just sits there and then you forget what you have and then it's a hot mess. That's what we have going on. I guess that looks like sunkissed. It doesn't look like the picture on the back of the, uh, on the back of the box. Sun. Sun kissed. Those are pretty colors. Definitely on trend with the collection. This release. Very pretty. I need to update. I might use one of these. One of my many journals from Archer and Olive. Um, I might use it to uh, create like a really nice, pretty pen swatch collection notebook because I kind of do it like on this for video just to get a swatch out to show you guys the colors but um yeah I think it'd be nice to have like a really pretty notebook that has all of my swatches of all my pens so maybe that will be really fast in a reel um at some point so here we go this is the cabinet of curiosities colors you got your fresh moss your new leaves, your under the stars, misty morning raindrop, April showers, new bloom, honeycomb, stone path, and sun kissed. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's set that aside and take a look at the stamp set. Now, I don't think I want to take the full time with the stamps, stamping all the stamps. That might be a little too much. But let's take a look. This was not the stamp set I wanted to get. The one I wanted to get sold out really quickly. And I can't remember what it was called, but it was a different one. And it sold out. And I just had to get a stamp set in this release. I mean, look at this packaging. Not that you should buy something because of the packaging, but look. There are very few things in life that I do to treat myself. And if having a pretty box of stamps is that, like, and I'm not hurting anybody, I think it's fair game. So I bought the stamp set, the B stamp set, only because there was nothing else available. <laughs> I know that sounds pathetic, but, ooh, but look at this. What a cute little set. So we have permanent ink in the color black. I wonder how this compares to my Versa ink, which is what I use normally. But, of course, it's Archer and Olive. Um design so it's really cute hopefully the ink quality is good i can't draw any conclusions about this i do want to do a um stamping video at some point i've slowly been collecting stamps and trying to use them more so i'm overdue for that uh, we have an acrylic block for putting our stamps on and actually i should probably just leave this like this but 
we've got, yeah, all kinds of fun little stamps here. Y'all know I love to decorative date. So these numbers are kind of fun. And I love a hexagon pattern. So who knows? Maybe I would have purchased this set anyways. I mean, I love the lined floral. So that could be fun to add layered on top of stickers or underneath stickers, clear stickers. So these I think would be really fun for some extra decorative elements. Same, ooh, I like that there's a little individual one so you can kind of spread them out or create additional clusters if you want to. This could be a fun alternative for decorative dating or creating little boxes, same thing with this. Some more fun texture. So I think I'll get a lot of good use out of this stamp set. It's just, I was eyeing another one. And so we'll see how this goes. Just do a quick little look at what these look like. Now, I have been told the stamps that you want are photo photopolymer stamps. These are not photopolymer stamps. These are acrylic stamps. And I think every stamp I have right now is a photopolymer stamp because of how highly they were recommended. They're made in the US. These are not that. So I don't know how they are going to perform, but I will... <sighs> Can I resist? Oh, I can't. Okay, hold on. I can't resist. I can't. Just because we're here and everything's here. I know I'm going to probably regret this because I'm going to leave a big mess um, on this desk. And I was trying to avoid it. But make sure you take that off. And I'm just going to do it. I just want to see what these look like. I got to do it. I've got to do it. I'm going to take this guy. We're going to do the, the hex stamp. Should I open this ink? I kind of don't want to, um, so I'm not going to. Please don't be mad at me, but I think I would prefer to use maybe a stamp or an ink I already have. So, and I've heard, I don't know if it's the same for acrylic stamps as it is photopolymer stamps, but you kind of like to add, kind of rub off, prime it, I guess, is one, one way to do it. Get some of your natural oil scuff it up a little bit and let's see how this works this is the versa magic um drop uh paint and i think we're gonna just let's just do part of this how about that let's do part of one and maybe let it be really rich on one end and kind of ombre it out let's see what that looks like Ooh, that's fun that is fun I'll do a second stamp just to, oh yeah, that's pretty. Okay, that is pretty. Maybe I am glad that I ended up with this stamp set. Maybe this was the stamp set I was meant to have all along. Yeah, that's really fun. I'm just doing this now to kind of get the excess ink off of it since I don't have um, something wet. Oh no, I don't have anything wet here to clean it off. So, well, that's pretty. I like it. Um... And yeah, I think that's going to be nice. I think it's going to be nice. It just wasn't what I was planning on. But I'm excited to play around with it. Let's set this guy aside and take a look at the last item that I picked up. Which y'all are probably going to laugh at me because <laughs> I didn't need a traveler's notebook. But I just wanted to see what this design looked like. Can you guys guess what it is based on the box? Probably not. First of all, packaging, gorgeous. I am telling you, if you have a book lover or a journaling friend in your life um, and you want to give them like a really nice gift, get them an Archer and Olive notebook. The packaging is amazing. You might not want to, you know, purchase something so nice for yourself, but maybe you would give away something like this, maybe a birthday gift or an anniversary gift or something like this. Um, absolutely beautiful. And although I paid for all of this myself, I do have an affiliate discount code. So if you like any of this stuff, you can pick it up um, for 10% off if you use the code JOYFUL10. So if you're looking at gifting, um, so hold on, let me just show you. Here's the spine. So if it's showing on your bookshelf, you've got a really pretty kind of book spine there. Um, and then instead of it opening like top and bottom the way that this one did, right? Where you've got like a top lid. That's typically what we've seen with some of the notebooks. But look at this. It pulls open like a drawer. So pretty. 
I have two other traveler's notebooks from Archer and Olive. One of them is in use. One of them is, wow. Wow. One of them is not in use. Um, but I really like the size. And so I thought it would be fun. Plus, this design was sold out. <gasps> what? This feels like, like suede. That is that was not expected. Oh my gosh. Okay, mine's got a little schmutz. Maybe glue on it. Kind of need to pick that off. But um, oh my gosh, this is really pretty. So um I thought this was a really cool design and I wanted one. And by the time I could shop the sale or the release, there was this size and I think like the really small um, A6 size left. So I went the tr with the Traveler's Notebook because I actually really do like this size. I like the way it feels in my hands. I like the narrowness. I just think it's really pretty. And I have a Moturn cover that fits this size. So I was like, you know, if I'm going to have to pick a size that I wouldn't have picked, then this is the right one. So here is the spine and it's debossed with gold very shiny and then look at this cover so we have multiple things going on you've got the texture right because it's like stamped into the cover you have the gold foil and then this green feels um you know that like soft touch where it feels like it's not hairy like suede but it's like not moleskin it's got that like really soft creamy feel to it I know that sounds really weird it has a soft creamy feel do you guys know what I'm talking about it feels like suede but not but not raised like a uh, hairy suede <laughs> like nubuck it's not like that it's that other feeling um it's got a really beautiful feel to it I'll just say that so we've got the gold on the front and then the back is the, the same debossing but without the gold holy moly this is beautiful. I am actually really glad to have gotten this in the traveler size. I feel like that it was meant, it was meant for me. And it is a dot grid. We've got our two bookmarks with the ampersand there on the end. Our pocket in the back. And of course our pen loop. And wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm really happy I got this. I'm going to show this to Josh and he's going to be like, what? What is that? This is a lot. I know it seems super aggressive, probably on camera, but when you're holding it in your hand, it doesn't feel like a lot, in my opinion. This is really nice too. They could have done it without the gold. But wow, this is really beautiful. So... I think that's everything. I know that for a while, um, at least like the same day they decided to do a um, pre-order on the stuff that sold out really quickly. So some of this stuff that I missed out on and some of this stuff, if it sold out, might be available again for pre-order. So if you missed out and you're curious about it, I'm very happy with everything that I purchased. Um, so if you want to check it out, I will link my affiliate link down below. Again, I got the Traveler's Notebook in this design. I got the Cabinet of Curiosities pens. I got the stamp set. And shout out to my tattoos. <laughs> got the tattoos. And... Uh, just to even out my order, I did get the um, basics and the black and white acrylic graph pens. All right, friends. I think that's it. And remember, Joyful 10 if you decide to purchase anything from the Cabinet of Curiosities. All right. Um, I got to clean up, play with all the things, and uh, head on my way. So I'll just say, oh, come hang out with me over on Instagram. My handle is the Joyful Sojourn. And if you want to hang out with me again, I sure hope that you do. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.